Hey guys, welcome back to the CC Free Ripley save, and as you can see, there's an extra family, an extra person rather, in um, in my in Forgotten Hollow. Yeah, so I've made this cool little paranormal investigator. His name is Liam Ridley. He is a trans man. Uh, I thought it would be. I just thought it'd be good to do. He is a paranormal investigator who is also an investigative journalist. So. You know, he likes to write about his experiences with the paranormal, things he's seen and discovered. And he's come to Forgotten Hollow to kind of write a book about uh, this place. He wants to figure, you know, what makes this, this little sleepy village so eerie to people. Like, who's buried in the Spectre family uh, garden? Why the Vitor twins aren't sociable during the day? And who lives here at the top of the uh, hill? In Forgotten Hollow and of course in speaking of that today we are going into Cass and we are going to give uh, Vladdy the makeover of the century I guess so we're gonna do a pretty damn good uh, makeover for him like he's he's meant to be a young adult but they made him look like uh, Nosferatu or I guess Vincent Price. The the vibe Doyle, that huh? Vlad gives is strong Vincent Price vibes. You know, and this that guy is like, you know, well known for being um in movies. I think he did monster movies. But we definitely gotta work on this face. I mean it's impressive what they did. But, you know, you gotta do things like pull in the chin slightly. You really gotta pull those eyebrows. Down and you gotta try and uh copy dark form to sim oh I could do it oh yeah because I've got to go and edit his dark uh, mode as well that's gonna be fun that's gonna be very fun but yeah we're working on Vladdy today let's just take off all uh, necessary things yeah they made him very just sort of they went for they went for proper creepy goth vibes with him let's turn these up pull the eyebrows down the gray like is fine you can maybe go dark gray or maybe black maybe what's like the dark gray that's the dark gray that's still pretty not too bad if we do that's the uh brow he has originally got those eyes <laughs> these are the original eyes Okay, I see what they did. They basically was just like, just, he has seen too much. Now he just looks tired. I see what they were doing there. Okay. I'm thinking maybe a different eye. I tend to use the same ones. There's a lot, a lot of them that I haven't really picked. I'm going to try. Let's have a look at these ones. I mean, they look, they kind of, well, with the rest of the face, they don't really work. But I guess it's more because of the big old uh, bags under. These ones could work. We can bring them down and stuff and edit them around. Because people have done some really good. I bet if I look on the gallery, I could find... And I type in Vlad. I bet I could find a bunch of people who have done some really good versions of him. There have to be. Is it Vladis... Vladislaus? And we go by... I'd say by most popular, but we could find some of the... Like, like this is one of the big ones, I think. Like, that's, like, really good. That's, like, like that's really good. That's actually, that is some Castlevania shit right there. I love that. Also, I love the Castlevania series on Netflix. I highly recommend you watch it. Because there is an episode in the last season they put out that was so weird. But also, like, kind of, it was just the way the scenes all mashed together. It was so weird, but also so cool. That is very anime. That is very... That's an interesting... Because seeing being Vlad's nephew or son... Yeah, I could... He does have a bit of a nephew vibe to him. It's like, this is my nephew. Nah, great. Oh, is it? I, I, I do like that. I think that's actually a really good one. Yeah, some of these are, like, really good. These are some really good, like, iterations of... Of Vlad. So, I definitely, like... We've got stuff to work with. And that's, like... That's OG. That's OG. But I think this this was my favorite. 
This was my favorite because he just looks so like cool. But I don't think my Vlad, the like how I do this is gonna work. I've done, I've made over Vlad before, but he was very different when I uh, when I made him over like one time. Of course, he doesn't exist in Run Magic because I yeeted him because I put in a different set of vampires. Uh, but I could really, I think I just have to really just reset all the features, I think, in order to get this to work. God, that's how small the nose was originally. I see what they might have done because they kind of went, yeah, okay. I reckon we could do something about this. Actually, we could just give him a different nose altogether. This one could work and I reckon I could fix it up. See, then we gotta go and work on the mouth then. The the gaunt cheekbones, like high cheekbones, just work very well. But the whole bottom half of the face really has to be redone. I've done quite a bit of work on him. It was kind of a struggle. Finding his nose, like trying to get the right nose for him was a bit of a struggle at first. I'm using this one. And I've sort of managed to pull it out in a good way that makes it look uh, slightly, uh, still quite big, but not as uh, prominent. And also keep a nice bit of a bump there as well. Also, I did like the thin lips and I wanted to keep that, but I've also stretched them out slightly just so there's still more volume to them. And those cheekbones. I did also reset the jaw as well, which we're going to go into sort in a second, but cheekbones there are some these are the ones they use resetting them kind of works maybe try some different ones actually what were these ones yeah because i like the idea of the high gaunt look with the high cheekbones definitely work quite well bring them out slightly so don't take that out too much because the sunken cheeks still work pretty pretty well he's looking a bit less uh creepy now and then that jaw we gotta go really get it I can uh pull it out I learned how to pull it out uh the jaw bones someone taught me on how to stop making all my sims rounded faces I mean I had a style initially and yeah just sort of altering the jaw bone does sort of add a little bit to it now but I did like my old style as well I don't do as an extreme mocha, but I still want to try and have my own style to it if I pull that in. I also did make these like quite high up because, like not like too high, but just high enough to still have a kind of a sinister look to them. This guy had very just, they gave him very grey tones. Oh, don't want to do that too much. Just pulling out the eyes slightly. He's no, like, uh, he's not exactly... As, I don't know if he's as good as the ones we just saw in the gallery. But I don't think he's looking all that bad. He's meant to be a young adult as well, so I never understood why he looked like he should have been an elder vampire. I always thought that was an odd sort of... choice. But the hair should really... switch some things up, because I do like the long... Like, this hair just does look... Like, I think this is just an iconic kind of hair for... For a vampire. But, there might be some... Actually, some long feminine hairs might have some... Interesting looks, maybe. I'd have to see. But, there are some... Like, normally when I use all my Alpha CC, there's some really good hairs that look good on men that I put on them. But there's not a lot of interesting options really in the game for for Sims, kind of. At least for men, we need more. We need more male hair. We need male long hairs. I feel like that also should be something. I find men with long hair look really good. I just think they do. Oh, you know what? This one kind of works. It looks like Elliot's hair from Stardew Valley. It's a base game one, but. I kind of like the, the volume it has there. 
Makes the forehead quite large, but I think that kind of works in his uh, favor. I don't know, I, th I just kind of like that one. Are there any other? No, there's not really any other, other long hairs that could probably work. What about that one? That's also, that's actually um, very Dracula, very Dracula from Castlevania, but I kind of like this one. It looks very elegant. Very elegant. And I imagine that the Stroud family were kind of lords, maybe. I mean, Stroud feels like the play on Stroud anyway. So I got a choice between this one or this one. I think the longer one worked quite well. Plus, I could put some of the Get Famous stuff on him. Kind of give him that really sort of old school, old school vibe. The top hat is, the top hat is a statement. Let's just take the top hat off, though. We can add the accessories after. He didn't really wear much else, did he? It was literally just that one outfit. And of course, his uh, his hot and cold weather gear is completely randomized. What even is your voice? Melvoy Bevose. No. Wambasi <laughs> Jewel. Skiba Yamoob. Ooh, Bernala. <laughs> I think the warm, very deep will work better. But definitely facial hair as well. Get, um... But he had, he had, like, that, I think. Yeah. Which is not too bad, but... I don't know. I'm thinking more, like, full beard, maybe. That also very sad. <laughs> now he looks very much more like Dracula. Well, I'm actually gonna. Well, oh God, what does Dracula in Castlevania look like again? I'm gonna go grab a picture of him on my phone because he actually, because he might actually look cl quite close to what I've designed him as. Uh, I need the Netflix version because that's the uh, one I watched. Oh wow, yeah, I kind of got him quite close. If I uh, go back to, is it this one? Yeah, I kind of might have accidentally made um, Dracula from Castlevania. <laughs> but you know what? That's absolutely fine because Dracula from Castlevania is actually a really cool, uh, cool, evil, bad guy. Actually, with that head, now he does look like him slightly. Yeah. Yeah, so he's actually Dracula now. I kind of like that bit more. I don't know. The thing is that I wasn't keen- I'm not keen on like these kind of facial hairs. They just don't really s jump out to me. I prefer men with full beards. I prefer bearded men, really. That could also like. There's also that one. Oh, maybe not. That makes you look too much like Santa. But that one, maybe. You sound a lot better now. Alright. I don't know why he's at the bottom of both of these. I guess because he's meant to be a corpse. But we're going to bring up... Give him just a little bit of muscle and, and fat. I don't think that he's that much of a of a stick. Okay. Clothes, though. Uh, there are some Get Famous stuff that could probably work. Maybe. In the black, that actually kind of works. Yeah, that's a bit more, you know, Lord of the Manor kind of thing. Not that his other outfit wasn't bad. That would be more akin for, uh, like, his outdoor weather, maybe. Ah. This also might be a butler outfit, but it, it still looks fine. For him, mm -hmm. you want to be... This, I'm actually fine with. That looks very good. You don't wear that when you go... <laughs> Like he's wearing a little pair of trainers. He's wearing a little pair of trainers. Now he like he probably does. Well, you got to give them outfits for these is the thing. But he's not gonna wear that on a treadmill. He's gonna want to do some working out, so he's gonna probably wear full body kind of stuff. Like he's he's a he's six hundred years old. He's not that he's not that uh clueless with the time change. There's always this sort of 
thing about uh you know immortal sort of still being like <laughs> seriously bunny slippers <laughs> like not changing with the times but i think they they were immortal people would definitely keep up on trends a lot more than uh regular folks do like they'd know all about the trends from way back and it'd be something stupid that was a trend probably i wouldn't put it past i wouldn't put it past them there you go just something simple just something simple that mm, there are some other good um ones i think yeah, that could work also where's that really good this one this could also work I do like this uh, top. Maybe not for uh, this. Or we could vintage glam it up. Give him a little bit of a oh. Hugh Hefner uh, vibe. That could also work a treat. And nope. You do not wear oh. budgie smugglers. You know, maybe wear something a little bit longer. Still on palm trees. Like, if we're going to keep the goth vibe with him, at least, like, what, like what, did, what did the game even generate for this? Okay, if I'm thinking of vampires going out in hot weather, I imagine they take really good care of trying to make sure they keep out as much of the sun as possible. So I'm thinking, like, uh, like the big hats, glasses, are there any, uh, are there any, like, sort of plain, sort of black these ones? Or work something like that but then they kind of keep the goth attire maybe <laughs> like this maybe like he wears full body to sort of keep himself you know protected from protected from the sunlight he'd still wear fancy shoes though where are his fancy shoes where are his fancy shoes and I am so glad they have these little filters in cast. I would be so annoyed if there weren't filters for this kind of stuff. Now you can wear this. This is like a perfect for cold weather gear. I think I put this on Sims before for cold weather gear. It's a really good coat. And then he'd wear a pair of boots to uh, keep himself warm. Something like that. I don't know about... Uh, would he have a hat maybe in the winter? Something like that maybe. Fancy little bowler hat. But there we go. He's had a nice little bit of a makeover. I'm gonna quickly... Just look over... What his body type looks like. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was the one he had initially. Okay, so he looks fine now. Vladislav Stroud is looking very, uh, he's looking very, very, uh, very more sort of, uh, hot shot now, I guess. Alright, let's go and look at his dark form now. Well, hopefully everything, yeah, everything has stayed over. Okay, you know what, the original sort of, all of these, did, did do quite well, but I'm thinking also, because he's a vampire, he's got access to the vampire eyes, so. When he's in dark form, he'd have uh, these ones, definitely. Because the red. Or maybe the, the pure black, maybe. Oh, that looks, that looks even more sinister as well. And then we can go and look for, through all these vampire sort of things. Teeth. I haven't done your teeth. He needs his, he needs his fangs. He needs his fangs. Doesn't have anything around the mouth. The cheeks we could go for, like, cracks going up the sides, maybe. Uh, nothing on that side, because you can't see it, but definitely, like, cracks going up the sides of the face. What about that one? Oh, I kind of like that one. Actually, that and that on both sides. Look like he's sort of... Like, almost like vampires are kind of like porcelain, and then when they get weaker, they, their skin starts to crack. Like, uh, like porcelain shattering. Kind of like that look for that. What about these? Eh, not so much. That definitely not. Vampire sockets, you want to make them sort of. Not too. Not 
too dark, but not too shabby. What is that one? Oh, that's a scar on the other side. Okay. And then you've got these options for the vampire look. Which, yeah, look quite fine already. Actually, if we take off the... That, that actually still looks pretty good. What if you did the, the darkest one? Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. The black eyes, I think I actually might change them back to red because the red looks really sinister. But do you know what occults I haven't sort of dealt with yet in making new sims is looking at occults. I've done a vampires now. I've forgotten how I was going to have vampires. We're going to deal with magic in a Glimmerbrook and I'm going to make sure that Emrys is put down for you guys because Emrys is my boy. But aliens, I'm trying to think where aliens would go. Obviously, they'd go in Strangeville as one because they came with get to work. But I feel like aliens could be integrated into most of the worlds so long as they're all in their disguises, really. So I could probably put an alien in most of the worlds. Definitely Samus, you know, I kind of want to see how an alien would handle that. Maybe do like a sitcom scenario kind of uh, family there with an alien and a human roommate and it's like, oh, the aliens trying to conceal their identity. What wacky hijinks will ensue? That kind of thing. Maybe I could put some vampires in Windenburg as well. Like there's an old family of vampires that live there as well. But he's not looking too bad now. I like what I've done with you, bloody daddy. <laughs> I made a joke I was going to turn him into a daddy, and I don't know if I have, but he's gone from Vlad to definitely not Vlad. <laughs> uh, we're going to change up some of the traits, though. Okay, so he's got his knowledge of being a master vampire. Yeah, that's fine. Evil, loner, and a music lover. Now, I'm thinking vampires are normally kind of presented as, as a... You know, they tend to seduce... They're romantic. They kind of have this whole sort of weird sort of combo of romance when it comes to eternal life. You know, be with me forever. You can live for eternity. Young and beautiful, that kind of thing. So I definitely think Jojo. Vlad could Zorazor. maybe be romantic. Perhaps instead of all powerful, he's actually a serial romantic. The idea that maybe he looks to lure, lure in beautiful women to sort of make them I'd say it's harem but no he kind of lures beautiful women in like that maybe he's had many wives over the years but because he's never had strength to make them immortal they just always pass on he always looks for another you know that kind of thing evil evil that's the whole thing do I do evil because not all vampires are evil some vampires can be good. I mean, I just watched a uh, Sarah Zivaru on the uh, the resurgence of the Twilight Saga. I remember reading the Twilight Saga. They presented vampires in that very interesting way. Aside from the fact that yeah, it was written by a Mormon. And it had very Mormon sort of views, I guess, on vampires. I don't know. Stephanie Meyer wrote some interesting stuff. Because Twilight was, uh, you know, sparkly vampires. I mean... The, the Volturi being in Italy, that was kind of cool because the idea of ancient vampires in, you know, probably the place where vampires should never step foot, really. I mean, look at Italy. Catholicism, sunlight, Venice, mirrors, uh, garlic. I, I've, read, I've read the jokes about how Italian men might be vampires. I think I was on Tumblr, I read that joke. It's like vampire <laughs> or Italian. <laughs> I mean, yeah, evil could work for him. Maybe we sort of... I mean, Vladislav Stroud. He was definitely based around Nosferatu as a sort of, like, template, his original look. Going with the classic Bram Stoker Dracula vibes, really. And I tried to read... Did I read um, Anne Rice's vampire stuff? When I, was, I think I did. I think I remember reading one of Anne Rice's vampire books when I was a... Uh, when I was in school. I think I found one in the library to read. Uh, what would his other trait be? <laughs> Music, definitely. So yeah, it was just switching out loner for romantic. Very good, Vlad. 
All right, I think we're done here. But yeah, I've consumed a lot of vampire media growing up over the years. Ooh. I read Anne Rice. I don't think I even finished that book, though. It was way too much to get into. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I watched Ooh. that growing up. I loved that show. Season 5 at the end of it was actually super duper sad for me. And then watching, because I never, I only ever got to season 5 watching on TV as a kid, so I never knew there was two other extra seasons after. I thought when season 5 oh. happened, that was it. Hmm. But it was on a hell of a show. So, that was good. I think I did watch later episodes, though. As, uh... Uh, on TV, not realizing they were after season five. But I think Vladdy's looking not too bad. I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna save him and uh, stick him on my uh, stick him in my library. A family name, sim name, or description currently contains a disallowed word. How? I want to proceed because I don't even know. Well, I'll change things up so I can share them to the gallery. One of one of these words is not like the others, apparently. All right, Vladdy, let's 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 get you back. Oh god, it has been snowing outside. They said there's been a snowstorm coming. I think in the southeast of England. And it's been really light, uh, like, snow. Like, super light that it's not settling. But the weird part is, is that it's just been like this constantly for since this morning. It's just this tiny, like, snowstorm, essentially, that's not settling on the ground. And sometimes the wind is picking up and it's going, like, blowing quite fast past the window. So there we go, Count Vladislav Stroud. Let's, uh, check his bio. Count Vladislav Stroud IV is the latest descendant to occupy Stroud Mansion. His oddly similar looking line of ancestors has resided here since the founding of Forgotten Hollow. You mean to say he's lied about him being the fourth? No, I think we could change that maybe. Okay, I've changed it up slightly. Count Vladislav Stroud IV. His family has resided in Forgotten Hollow for nigh on 400 years and is the last of his lineage following some unfortunate history with vampire hunters. And yet he makes sure to steer clear of Olive Spectre, fearing to be the next grave in her garden. It's almost like he knows that Olive is a bit of a black widow. And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be the second vampire grave in that in that garden. I saw what happened to the last guy. Uh, so with that done, I'm just going to go and make over his house. That shouldn't be too hard. Then next episode, we are going to make over the Fator twins. I say they're twins, they are siblings, so, but I figure, fear they might be twins. Figure they might be twins more than a just simple brother sister. They give me twin vibes. So, could totally see at that. They moved in a few years ago and are striving to make it their home. And they're not exactly on the best terms with Vladdy. No, they are not. But, you know what? I think we've done pretty, pretty well with Vladdy today. Okay, so next episode, we're Tour Twins. We're going to go and make them over. We're going to go and uh, make Caleb. I don't know what we're going to make Caleb. Try and make him less Edward Cullen. A little bit more um, Stefan from Vampire Diaries. Actually, he might be more... No, I think, yeah, a little more Stefan or um, Damon. I think it was called. I actually stopped watching Vampire Diaries. I started watching it, then I stopped. I should probably get back to watching it at some point. But yeah, that's going to be the next episode of the Tour Twins. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you all then. Bye bye now.